The history of Karachaganak will always have an everlasting place in the record of the Kazakhstani oil and gas industry. Nowadays, the name is directly associated with huge investments, record-breaking levels of hydrocarbon production, innovative technologies, the creation of thousands of jobs, as well as world standard social responsibility. The new history of Karachaganak dates back to the 1970s, when regional geological and exploration studies had been undertaken, resulting in the discovery of the unique oil and gas condensate field. Its development was not an easy task, which was complicated by not only the complex production technology, difficult formation and hydrogen sulfide presence in the liquids. The severe climate was an additional challenge for the pioneers. Certainly, it was a different time back then. It wasn't as developed as now. Back then, we used to use lorries for traveling to the field in winter, summer, in scorching heat, any time. Surely the most difficult seasons were winter and spring. The machinery broke down, got stuck, and exactly those years were very cold. Drillers had to work in freezing temperatures, even lower than minus 40. Over time, you do start to understand that it was really an historical era for our country. And it was them, our specialists, drillers and geophysicists, who created this era, who did this work. Sukhan Kamalov, chief geologist of the Ministry of Geology of Kazakh SSR, made a particularly significant contribution to the exploration of Karachaganak hydrocarbon reserves. Already back in 1976, he made a point of stressing the prospectivity of geological surveys in the northern part of the Caspian Depression in the Burlin district. He gave specific recommendations for work to start. The veterans of the geological exploration, Nikolai Somkin, Oleg Marchenko, Edgar Wodzelewski and Taumush Zomogaleev also played vital parts in the project. In 1979, an exploration expedition team of the Uralsk Neftegaz Geology Trust arrived in the area. After drilling the first exploration well and obtaining reliable geological information, 15 teams were mobilized to the field to carry out drilling, casing and cementing of wells 5,000 meters deep. To achieve challenging objectives, then revolutionary technological solutions were developed and applied, including the deployment of modern equipment such as the Canada-manufactured Porter Test. 1984 marked the starting point of full industrial exploitation of the Karachaganak field. Construction of many production and support facilities commenced back then. Up to 1990, field development proceeded apace. The liquids were sent to Orenburg gas processing plant. The dissolution of the Soviet Union had a great impact on project development. Karachaganak was in pressing need of investment, modern technologies, and the experience of international partners. At that time, the president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, took a strategic decision to open the way to foreign investment. This helped overcome the crisis and create an environment for the further dynamic development of the country. He paid numerous visits to the Karachaganak field, attended the opening of its new facilities, and emphasized the importance of the field in the establishment of the oil and gas industry in the Republic. Companies from Italy and Great Britain were the first to engage in negotiations concerning the Karachaganak project. In November 1997, the Karachaganak Final Production Sharing Agreement was signed. The consortium partners set their mutual goal to carrying out upgrades and retooling the field to meet world standards. For Kazakhstan's part, Kadir Baikienov, first Minister of Energy of the independent Kazakhstan, made a special contribution to this process. Rather famous Karachagnak field is one of the largest gas condensate fields in the world. The development of the field began in 1984 upon its discovery in 1979 by Uralsk Neftegas Geologia that was headed by Sukan Kamalov. And since then, the history of the Karachaganak field began, which passed through very difficult stages of its development. When the data was obtained at the very beginning, 
confirming there is a very large field deposited from 3,000 to 5,500 meters deep, then, of course, the need in the appropriate technology and appropriate training of qualified personnel arose. We didn't have any of it then. However, back then in the Soviet time, the drilling has commenced in 1984 and first gas, oil and condensate were produced. According to experts, Karachaganak has achieved excellent performance over the past decades. Today's Karachaganak represents a world-class technologically advanced enterprise employing thousands of local specialists who are implementing the project that operates in line with the principles of social responsibility and sustainable development. Currently, Karachagnak takes a leading role in terms of production volumes and production dynamic and massively contributes to the economy, not only of the West Kazakhstan region, but the whole country. The Karachagnak partners actively support all governmental endeavors and take active part in state programs. KPO has a very good social program and, of course, it well liaises with local authorities and WKO Akimat. It greatly contributes to the development of the social aspect of our country by means of establishing new social workplaces, executing new social projects, building new roads, opening new kindergartens and carrying out the gasification of the region. Looking back at the achievements today, KPO shareholders, the team and the management certainly has something to be proud of and has a sustainable capacity to move forward. Local citizens call Karachaganak the greatest treasure of the region. Its development is highly important and enables regional economic growth. As a corporate citizen, KPO is actively engaging local suppliers by purchasing their goods and services and thus promoting the industrial innovative development of the Western Kazakhstan region. Our region is one of the fastest developing regions of the country. It accommodates a truly unique oil and gas field, Karachekanak, which was discovered and explored 40 years ago. Owing to the investment climate created by the first president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, KPO Consortium proactively develops, also cooperates with local enterprises by purchasing their goods and services. Owing to KPO investments, positive changes has been brought to the region. Multitude of construction of new roads, healthcare, educational, cultural and sport facilities were built and repaired. Villages connected to the gas supply. I would like to extend my warmest wishes to all gas and oil workers, geologists and workers of various trades who have been contributing to the development of the field over the last 40 years since Karachagnak discovery. For Kazakhstan, Karachaganak provides unprecedented experience both in terms of its scale and applied technologies, but mostly due to its very strong commitment to corporate responsibility. The Karachaganak field has been under development for 40 years, but the field is not a sleeping giant. Activities are ramping up, as evidenced by the recent plateau extension and plateau expansion projects that are being worked. Our commitment to the Republic and to our parent companies is to deliver these projects on time, within budget and most important, safely. Because I'm absolutely convinced that good safety performance is strongly linked to good business performance. In doing so, we should also not forget about our importance um, for the lives of the communities around um, the Karachakanak field. KPO is one of the largest companies in Kazakhstan and makes a significant contribution to the economy of the West Kazakhstan Oblast. For the purpose of representing state interests under the final production sharing agreement, the government of the Republic of Kazakhstan has appointed an authority, PSA LLP. KPO's relations with the Kazakhstan party have always been built on mutual understanding and partnership. The 40th anniversary of uh, Karachaganak uh, field is an important milestone for the local uh, oil and gas industry and also for multinational big staff of KPOBV. For the last uh, 20 years uh, since the signing final production sharing agreement, 
uh, the Republic of Kazakhstan received uh, more than 17 billion US dollars in the form of uh, taxes and uh, profit oil share. And also for the last 20 years, uh, uh, the consortium invested more than 24 billion dollars uh, in this uh, field. And uh, along with this uh, tangible investment, we have uh, also the uh, non-tangible side uh, uh, of that. For the last 20 years, the, the whole uh, generation of oil men and of managers grew up with this uh, project. Along with that, uh, many local companies also uh, raised their competence and technical capabilities working uh, for Karachaganak project. Karachaganak management has been proactive in building up the share of local content in the project. The objectives of the local content program are fully aligned with the initiative of the Republic of Kazakhstan for the creation of favorable conditions for the development of national industry and the increase in the engagement of Kazakhstani companies in large oil and gas projects. Every two years, uh, we develop a KPO local content uh, development program. This program uh, has uh, certain indicators for goods, uh, works and services in terms of local content. Such indicators, uh, targets are also established for works, uh, goods and services for upcoming uh, capital projects, uh, uh, for uh, plateau extension projects and uh, Karachaganak expansion projects. Uh, one of the latest uh, initiatives uh, that we've been doing is the inter-regional cooperation jointly with uh, West Kazakhstan Oblast authorities. Of course, all of these uh, have uh, brought uh, some uh, results and uh, nowadays we have reached a stable uh, local content level of 70% uh, in works and services. And now we are focusing in development of uh, local goods. If, uh, for example, a few years ago we used to buy simple uh, construction materials like concrete, uh, um, bricks, uh, or nitrogen or petrol, nowadays uh, we uh, purchase uh, oil and gas equipment such as heavy wall, uh, high pressure separators, uh, transformers, uh, drilling beads, uh, heat exchangers, uh, and uh, uh, many other products. Each step the company takes in modifying and expanding production is subject to rigorous environmental expert review. To date, the gas utilization rate has reached 99.94%. KPO's environmental protection strategy is fully consistent with the objectives of a green economy, the transition to which has been described as one of the key priorities of state policy by the first president of the Republic of Kazakhstan. KPO takes an active part in training and professional enhancement of local specialists. This work has already yielded significant results. I have been working at Karachagnak Field since 1987. The salaries and social benefits in the company are at very high level. The company provides opportunities for the professional development and career growth. I am working in this company now for 25 years. Most of my professional experience was within operations. During this time I had the opportunity of working with many interesting people. Our company pays much attention to training and professional development of local staff, which facilitates their career advancement and growth. While working for KPO, I was able to achieve professional growth thanks to the company's solid policy on nationalization and training of employees. Social projects have been executed within the territory of Uralsk with the active involvement of KPO over the last two decades. Dozens of social projects have included construction and repair of buildings, construction of roads and laying of engineering utilities in Uralsk and adjacent regions. The scope of the projects is agreed with executive authorities, making it possible to address the most pressing issues. The 40th anniversary is one of many milestones on a long road. Great prospects for the expansion of the Karachaganak project and future sustainable development of the region lie ahead. KPO. Will